menu fam. Right now, I have this bag right here. Like I said before, we're trying to get this camera lighting slash microphone situation figured out. Um, I promise I'm saving up to get this quote unquote studio ready. Um, but no, right now we're talking about meh. Right now we're talking about Maka. Um, this isn't gonna be a specific review for this brand in particular. Um, it's just gonna be talking. I'm gonna be making different um, uh, different sections. One for actual reviews of specific products, and then just thoughts on the actual food. So this is just gonna be thoughts on maca. Um, I got this uh, 16 ounce bag from Amazon. It's if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, it looks a little bit sketchy. Um, it looks like they pulled this picture off of Google and they created this thing as a sticker and just boom, put USDA organic and made it look all good. But the more you get into it, the more dingy it kind of looks. But that's for a different video, maca powder. Um, what can I say about maca powder? I've been trying maca powder for a little while now. Huh, let's see when the first time I tried it was. I actually got really sick with the stomach flu uh, I want to say two years ago and I was trying everything I went on it was like three days of hell where I would wake up in the middle of the night with just this weird feeling of having to go poo slash not being able to go poo slash kind of feeling like a little bit pukey like 20% pukey uh, and also kind of feeling like I had a, a ball of uh, ball of bullshit in my stomach that wouldn't go away now I tried this and it didn't do anything. Um, it's not uh, a way of me trying to shit on Maka or anything. It's not a, 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 an ailment or anything. I tried a whole bunch of different things within the span of three days because I'm just not a believer in, um, unless you have MRSA or something that you desperately need antibiotics for, I do not want to take them because they just, I feel like it makes you weak. You, you look at any of the, uh, professional athletes whenever they talk about taking antibiotics and then going out in the field or in the ring or in the octagon and then they say their shit feels fucked up so i wanted to try as many different things i went like on like a solely vegetable fruit and probiotic diet for the first day um it wasn't really doing anything i did that for the second day then i started throwing in things like maca powder smoothies and all that shit didn't really help but it just went away so um other than that maca powder let's see what webmd says about this uh i'm not lying to you guys i'm just keeping it real i'm not fucking i don't have like a, a notebook studying all these research and stuff i just go online like anybody else and fucking review this shit i can only tell you guys how i feel about it um everything else is is realistically coming off the internet like 98 percent of other people um it's got to over 20 amino acids it's from the cabbage family so um it's uh, 20 free forms of fatty acids, and uh, it's got vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin C, vitamin E, it's got calcium, magnesium, potassium, so very similar to a lot of the other superfoods that you're seeing nowadays at Whole Foods, Sprouts, and whatnot. As far as, you know, health-wise, uh, all the elements that it brings, like the ones that I just read off, it's good. It's not going to hurt at all. It's only going to add to your health. But what the big thing with this that everybody talks about online, you look at any other videos, is that it's a very good hormone regulator. It's a good hormone regulator. So I believe the way it does that is by regulating cortisol, which is a stress hormone. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure I've seen that in many videos and in many uh, uh, websites. You know, I don't just completely wing these things. I actually do look into it a little bit. And then um, after I give the way I feel about it and how it's affected me, then I, I tell you guys what's up. Um, other than that, it's, its taste is very, huh, how best to describe it? It's almost kind of like an umami thing where you can't really compare it to anything else. It's... It tastes almost old, but 
even though it sounds negative, it doesn't taste old in the sense where like, I was talking about the kale chips before where they tasted like old dried gym socks. No, it's kind of like a, like a pleasant old, kind of like an antique store old, but it, everything that I'm saying sounds so negative, but it's actually just the best way to describe it in like a positive sense. Um, it's not overwhelming the the taste. It's more like an essence that you get from it and When you throw it in with like a smoothie you throw it in with a um, with, with some yogurt with some kefir um, Comment below if you know the way you're supposed to say it. They say it in Eastern Europe kefir or kefir I, I don't know if I'm saying that right but um, yeah, you can pretty much throw it in on anything. I wouldn't necessarily throw it in on food because it's like it's dust. It usually comes in dust. I don't. I'm not sure if you can actually get the maca like the root anywhere. Uh, I don't know if it survives anywhere outside of South America, uh, Peru specifically, as I've been told. So, other than that, I would say give it a try. I would recommend in the smoothie would probably be the best way to get you started off. Um, I haven't been paying attention to whether it's, you know, helping my cortisol levels or helping my hormone levels realistically because I don't have the laboratory to test my stress hormone levels. As far as my attitude goes, I don't really see a, a dramatic impact or change. But I haven't really taken it consistently enough to be on that. So I will be taking this in a smoothie for the rest of the next two, three weeks just to see if, because I don't feel like I'm doing it justice if I'm just blabbering about this without taking it. Obviously, I have taken it before and I have done it, but not consistently enough where it's like a two, three week plus period of just every day taking maca. So after I do that, I will be updating you guys. It's getting, I'm beating dead horse, but it's annoying me as much as it's annoying you guys. It's probably annoying everybody else who subscribes or views or anything. We're really trying to get this camera situation worked out. I want to get first the camera settled, then the mic, and then maybe some lighting going on. Maybe make like a little mini studio in here. Um, I'm also trying to get a more um, space efficient computer hopefully one of those desktop MacBooks, MacBooks, one of those desktop Macs because um, my computer right now just doesn't have the time to handle between all my other work and then all the videos and the editing that I'm fucking doing. It's just, it's, it's slowing down and it's getting harder to put out content all the time every week. So, um, and, and you know, this is not me to say I'm sitting here and you know, I'm a master editor because it's not. I just put an intro and I let the camera uh, roll and then I just start talking because I don't I don't want to be that guy that sits here and has that. Oh, hello guys! You know, like I just want to be a regular dude talking to the camera, talking to you people with no fronts. I'm cussing like a sailor. I don't give a fuck. Um, so I, I want you guys to feel like you're actually talking to me and you guys are actually listening to me as opposed to you guys looking at someone who's just trying to fucking market the fuck out of themselves for no reason or oh, well for profit but um i just i just i want to keep it real so sometime within the next month two months most i believe we'll be having this camera situation set up and then definitely in the next couple months after that we'll get be getting better mics better lighting um yeah other than that uh have a good day health uh here we go i need the coffee I need the coffee. I need it. Anyways, have a good day, Health Menu fam. I'll be doing my next uh, video pretty soon, so stick around. Peace.